Hey there friends! Today I'm going to be sharing how I created this sweet thank you card using the new Build a Bloom die set from Concord and Ninth along with some of their other products. Take a look at the new Build a Bloom die set. There are so many different petals, leaves, and the insides of the flowers that you can combine together to create endless possibilities of flowers. So many different ones. Now today I'm using a fun, cool color scheme, Blueberry, Harbor, and honeycomb. And I've been using a lot of warmer tones lately, so I wanted to reach for my blues, and I really love that combination of harbor and honeycomb. And I actually looked, I googled blue flowers just to get some inspiration on the colors that I could combine. So when I'm using a set like this, I always like to die cut extras just so I have some on hand to create a, a quick flower at any time I might need one. And so I used all of the blooms there, the smaller blooms really, to cut those blooms out of the harbor cardstock. And then I'm going back over with those smaller star shaped ones again. I think those are the ones that I'm going to like the most for this one. There's something about the tiny flower in that blue that I really like. I'm also going to cut a few out of blueberry as well because you can actually create a little bit of a shadow layer. And I wanna have some of those on hand just in case I want to do that. Next up, I'm grabbing the honeycomb cardstock, and there is one single die that cuts out all of the centers for the flowers, and I really like that because you can just use that die, cut it over and over and over again to create as many centers as you like. And for my flowers today, I'm going to be layering up two of the different centers to make it look really kind of like life and realistic there. So I'm just cutting a bunch of these yellow ones again, I love having these parts and pieces on hand because if you want a flower quickly, then you can create one really quickly. I pulled out some parsley cardstock, but I really am loving the feel of um, artichoke. Artichoke is one of the darker greens and it just looks really nice with the blue and the honeycomb cardstock. So we're gonna go to, with artichoke on my leafery here. And I'm not exactly sure how many flowers I'm creating, so I just pulled out a few of the avocado and artichoke leaves here. Now, this leaf here has places for three little flowers, and I really like that, that grouping of three. It looks so pretty with the harbor cardstock against that artichoke color super duper pretty. And you can see here I'm trying out the layering technique where you offset those flowers just a tiny tiny bit with the dark blue behind and when you offset that it creates a little bit of a shadow almost like it would appear in real life if it was you know darker from a certain angle it's always fun to put these together because you know the hardest part is the cutting then once you have everything cut you can just sit down and glue, glue everything together. Now my glue is in a Gina K Designs glue bottle with that ultra fine tip, which is, I find, a must have for a gluing project like this, where you have really delicate small things to glue down. I'm going to glue those posies onto the leaf here and creating two of those, because I might as well, I have enough to create two. So uh, create as many as you can when you sit down to glue all of those together. And now you can see me adding the honeycomb centers on the flowers. And since these are quite small, I'm using um, a small center, and then I'm layering that with an even smaller one on top, and it just looks really, really beautiful. It adds that extra touch to the center of those flowers. Kind of makes it stand up a little bit more too. For these daisy looking flowers, I think that the, you know, the larger circles fit really well. So we're going to go with those there. To add a small bit of dimension, I'm using my artichoke 
ink and a small blending brush from Gina K Designs to ink up just the bottom edge of those flowers. It gives it a more 3D quality when you when you add a little bit of ink to the bottom side where you would naturally see a shadow on those leaves. And this is where I'm going to add that final layer to the center. I made sure that my original center was already on there and I'm adding one that's even smaller to the middle to give that a really beautiful 3D effect. This is where I'm going to add a little bit of a surprise. The Sweet as Pie bundle has a lot of different shapes to it that you can use for more than just pies. I really love the circular design created with the lattice and that pie crust, but if you cut it in white or a different color, it's not going to look like a pie crust or a pie lattice. Uh, so I wanted to pull out a few different papers to see what would look good behind my flowers. Ultimately, as is my, my typical go-to, I decided that white was what I wanted. So I'm cutting this out of 100 pound cardstock from Scrapbook and Cards today. This cardstock is really great. It cuts beautifully and it's really smooth like butter so it's great for ink blending as well. So I cut my lattice but I want to make sure that I have a couple of different layers here to make that extra sturdy to give it a really nice 3D effect. So I'm going to cut those again with another piece of paper too. I love to think of products and how to use them outside of the normal box. So even though this die set was created to make pies of all different uh, sizes and configurations, uh, think of how you can use it as like a centerpiece. So I looked at this as a circular uh, lattice that I could back with a different color and that will create a really nice focal point for my flowers on this card. I really love a card front die so on this card I'm using the quilted card front die from Concord and Ninth. I'm placing my A2 piece of uh, white cardstock here onto that A2 card die and just running that through my Spellbinders Platinum 6 machine. This is going to add the perfect amount of texture to that background and it's going to give it a like a beautiful white on white texture and then when you put that lattice over the top in the same direction that that quilting is going it's just going to look really spectacular. I wanted to frame this quilted panel with something a bit darker than Harbor. So I grabbed Blueberry. I really love this blue. It is lighter than Midnight, but it is the perfect blue. It really is a blueberry color. Uh, it's time for me to layer up my two layers of the lattice design for my focal point. So I'm just gluing those together and then I'm adding that pie crust piece right over the top. It actually looks like uh, like a coil of rope. So you could actually uh, use it with craft and make it look like rope as well. So I'm going to uh, layer up two of those pieces for that edge design as well. It's going to give it a really beautiful uh, finish by just having that pop up off of the background a little bit. Once I place my lattice design on top of that quilted card front, got my flowers in place, I noticed that I wanted that, uh, that center focal point to pop out a little bit more. So I grabbed that circle die from the Sweetest Pie bundle and some cardstock. I started out with uh, Stardust, which I really love that color, and went ahead and cut that and thought that's the one that I wanted to go with, but I ultimately changed it out for honeycomb to just to brighten that up a bit and match the centers of my flowers. But I really love the way that the lattice is uh, mimicking that quilting on the card front. And there's something about the simplicity of putting in just one of those posy uh, groupings, that, that floral grouping there. So I'm going to go with only one. This is a, a sweet and simple card. Now it's time to get everything adhered together. So I'm using my blueberry A2 piece of cardstock, topping that with my quilted uh, 
card front, card stock. I'm using scrapbook.com deluxe tape runner here to get that adhered down. And of course, I'm filming a video, so I'm going to run out of, uh, of tape runner there. So I'm just adhering that down right to the center. And then I'm going to top that with my focal point right there in the middle. Just adhering that down with some scrapbook.com liquid adhesive there. Putting that on the honeycomb cardstock first before I place that onto the card front. And I'm just gently tucking my flower in there. For my sentiment, I decided to use the Delicate Blossoms cardstock because I love this classic font and I thought it would, it would work really beautifully with this card. I also have a die that comes from the Cottage Garden dies and this is going to cut out my sentiment, uh, give it a nice finished look and it fits perfectly with the sentiment and the card front. So I'm using blueberry ink here to ink up my sentiment which is stamp stamped perfectly the first time and then I can die cut that using that strip from the Cottage Garden dies. I definitely want to pop this up using dimensional adhesive to give that a little bit more oomph on the uh, on the card front. And I'm also going to go ahead and adhere the flowers down, but use some uh, dimensional adhesive on those posies as well. So I'm just adding my uh, foam adhesive from Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L here first so that I can pop this sentiment down on the card. And it's always a good idea to use some liquid adhesive on your foam adhesive so that you have some wiggle room to get everything nice and straight before you commit. So getting that thank you so much sentiment on there and then I can center the, the lattice focal point on top. But first I'm going to pop up those posies with some foam adhesive just to make those stand out. And then glue everything down. So pretty. There's so much texture on this card from the quilted card front die, from the lattice, from the flowers. It really is a really simple but very, very pretty card. Then I'm going to go in here with the harbor enamel dots and I love that Concord and Ninth has inks, cardstock, and enamel dots that all coordinate so beautifully together. So I'm adding five of those here to the card front. And that is my card completed. I combined the beautiful Build a Bloom dies with a surprise element, the Sweet as Pie bundle, to make this card that has a, a beautiful focal point on the front. Lots of texture, lots of interest, and a color scheme that I really, really love. I hope you liked it as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to shop all of the supplies I used in the links in the video details below.